groundbreaking new research just released from Northwestern Medicine discovering a harmless virus in the blood may be triggering Parkinson's disease. The head research doctor, Dr. Igor, Igor Krolnik, chief of the neural infectious diseases at Northwestern is here to talk all about these findings. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. Why don't we start off with talking about what exactly is Parkinson's disease? So good morning, Val, and thank good you morning. for having me. Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disease of the nervous system affecting more than one million people in the US. It's associated with problems with movement, with um, train of thought, uh, with tremor, and it's really very debilitating. Uh, some of those cases are associated with genetics, but for most, the cause is really unknown. Is it deadly? It may be deadly, and it is associated with um, severe neurologic uh, problems that last for many, many years that can be treated with medications, but uh, not cured. You mentioned that it can be genetic and maybe not. What is the research that is groundbreaking that just happened out of Northwestern that you can tell us about? All right. So we wanted to know whether environmental factors such as viruses could be associated with either causing, triggering, or worsening Parkinson's disease. I'm a neurovirologist, and in my lab, we have developed an assay called VaroFind to find viruses, where we can detect 565 species of viruses, all viruses known to infect humans in one clinical sample. Mm -hmm. And so what we did, we probed uh, the post-mortem brain sample from patients who died from Parkinson's disease, okay. mm -hmm. as well as controls uh, brains of people who died from other causes without Parkinson's disease. We applied this assay in the both, both group of patients to look for differences between both group. And what we found is that in 50% of the Parkinson's brain, we found this, the presence of this virus called the human piggy virus, mm. uh, previously uh, not known to be associated with any disease. And we did not find it in the brain of the control individual who died from other causes. So what does this change, this new knowledge? All right, so um, we also found that in the brain of patients with Parkinson's who had the virus, the pathology of Parkinson's was more severe, more advanced, and there was also an alteration of immune signaling coming from this brain compared to those who did not have the virus. So what does it change? It uh, doesn't tell us exactly at that present time whether the virus is causing, triggering, worsening disease because we only have one snapshot. But it opens a whole new uh, field of investigation on how this virus and potentially others may shape the trajectory of this disease. Is there something someone can do to prevent Parkinson's disease? So that's the very you know, important question that we and many others want to answer. Um, what is important to know is that this virus, the human piggy virus, is a close relative from the hepatitis C virus okay. for which uh, treatment are readily available to target this virus in the liver. It would be potentially possible to target the human piggy virus by repurposing those medication to make them get into the brain. And obviously more work needs to be done and we'd be very happy to collaborate with other researchers as well as with the pharmaceutical industry that produce those medications. Dr. Igor Koralnik from Northwestern Medicine, thank you so much for your insight and your time. You're welcome. And we're very grateful for the Michael J. Fox Foundation that supported this study.